Well, this is a topic I've been wanting to cover for some time now, how I'm doing webinars in 2020. Now, I absolutely love Ecamm Live, so much so that I've created the Ecamm Live Academy and you can check out more details about that below. And the reason I love Ecamm Live is that it just allows me to do the most professional presentations, right down to doing slideshows where I can sit green screened over the front of it, I can play videos, I can cue them up and tell it that when it gets to the end of the video to jump to the next scene, play me, uh, bring comments on in the chat, all of this stuff that makes it so interactive, I can't do this with any other bit of software. So I don't wanna keep going back to a webinar software and have to sacrifice all of this stuff when I wanna do a webinar. So I found a solution that I'm really happy with and I wanna share it with you. Now this does assume then that you're on a Mac and you've got Ecamm Live. If you haven't, you can take a trial of Ecamm Live. There's a link below, 14 day free trial. I'm also gonna be doing this in Kajabi, but you don't need to have Kajabi. You will see as you watch through this how we're doing it. If you're in WordPress or some other way that you create basically a landing page, a registration page for somebody, and then another page to host the actual webinar. So I'm gonna take you through the whole lot in this video. We're gonna set up a pipeline in Kajabi. We're going to schedule an event through Ecamm, and then you're gonna see actually how lovely this is when we actually do the live itself I don't have any other windows open. I don't even have Chrome open. I don't need YouTube open. All I'm doing is Ecamm is sitting in front of me. My comments are being pulled into it from YouTube. It's brilliant. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to Ecamm first of all and set this up. So your destination down here is YouTube. Now, if you're not really familiar with Ecamm Live, uh, do check out, I've got a whole playlist available where I explain how to use this and get it all set up. We need to make sure that it's unlisted, else basically anyone's gonna see it when you go live and what would be the point of this being a webinar. And then we're gonna come down here to scheduling a new live event. Okay, it's unlisted. We're just gonna put in here our webinar title. You don't really need a description, you can fill this in later. And I do recommend that you get a thumbnail image. Now I'm gonna be using this uh, example here from this launch party, you're gonna see this in a minute in Kajabi. Then I can come down here. Now if you're used to Ecamm Live in Facebook, you will know that you can only schedule seven days in advance. Uh, not the case in YouTube. So you can pop this in. Uh, let's just put a time in that we wanna go live. Six o'clock here on the 20th of Feb and uh, schedule. Now that would take a couple of seconds to prep this and we are gonna to need to pop over to YouTube because there are some latency settings that we need to put in. Now, depending on when you're watching this, this will change. You can just hit okay on this. This prompt that's coming up is telling you that um, people aren't gonna see that you've got this scheduled live coming up, but we don't want them to because we're doing this as a webinar, so hit okay. Now, depending on when you're watching this, uh, you are coming down here at the minute to change some settings because we need to adjust this latency. You may well find, because it's already in beta, so by the time you get to this, you may well find that actually when you click up here and you schedule this in, it will ask you what latency setting you want. So we're gonna come down here and jump into uh, YouTube first and do it this way around. It's asking us on here, is this for kids? No, it's not. And we're needing to come in down here right at the bottom, look. So I've come to this page, down to the bottom, latency, we're gonna tick low latency. So once that's in, you can close YouTube and now you're all set. And it tells me down here, it's coming up in 10 days. We will come back in here in a minute because we're gonna need a link to that live to be able to post into Kajabi. So now we're in Kajabi and I'm in the pipelines area. And we're gonna create a new pipeline. You don't have to do this as a pipeline, but um, for the sake of this, it's the easiest for me to show you. So Zoom webinar pipeline, create a pipeline. I'm just gonna call this test. We're gonna put the same date into this of the 20th at 6 p.m. And I could choose an offer to put in here, but I can do it later. So by default, this is gonna give us a registration page. Um, it's created the actual event here. All right, so they've already been put in for you, but you can come back to this pipeline area and add in other pages. 
and uh, take these ones out if you don't like them. Now let me just show you the most recent one that I did and it was this Pro Video Academy Live. So here is my registration page and again I'm not going into detail on this, this is just to let you have a quick look. Um, so it comes in here, you know, I'm asking people to register, standard call to action, it's the two step thing. Um, I did put a timer in, there's some details in there about what I'm doing. Okay, then there's my event. We had an email at time of registration, uh, five hours before, 15 minutes before, you know how that works. Um, I did have a thank you page, so once they'd registered, it took them across to this thank you page that just said put the date in your diary. Now the bit you haven't seen and the important thing here is this page. So I'm not giving people in the email the link to YouTube and that's actually what normally happens in this Zoom pipeline. You're recommended to give out that Zoom link and send people over to it. You can do that but there's no way of registering and logging who attended. So what I was doing was coming to this page this link down here to my sales page appeared 10 minutes into the webinar presentation. So what was happening, this is just an image. Um, at the minute this says watch the replay, it was saying watch the webinar. And what I did down here was to open up a two-step opt-in. So let's have a look in our two-step opt-in. Um, show the pop-up and uh, pop in your name and email and come join me on the live webinar. All right, so that's the form. It's linked to the form for the launch party and uh, go to a URL and this is the important bit. Now is when you head back into Ecamm and you go edit, copy YouTube URL, back into Kajabi and there I paste my YouTube link. So when I'm back here in my pipeline and I've got my emails, I can, they've got it in here 15 minutes before. I actually would give people the link a bit earlier than this. Uh, join us here. So I'm not putting the link to YouTube, I'm putting the link to the webinar page. So for me, when I come back to here, I'm going into edit details and that is the link there that I'm putting in the email. Does that make sense? So if somebody gets an email a day or 15 minutes before, you can obviously update that page so that link isn't active to start with and you could just have a message that said, come back soon. But when they open up that email that is 15 minutes before and there's a link in there, it's going to send them to this page that will say, go to webinar, they're gonna hit that, they're gonna join you on the webinar and they're gonna be inside YouTube. So they'll have had a tab open that is the Kajabi page. They'll then open up YouTube and they're gonna be watching the webinar in YouTube, a platform that they're familiar with. The live commenting works really well in there and you haven't got any of this open. When you're actually doing the webinar itself, all you're gonna have open is this screen here, comments being pulled in from YouTube with minimal delay and you can just sit here really comfortably knowing what you're doing and talking through. Now I've done another video in this playlist showing you how you can do a keynote slideshow presentation. So you can combine all these different videos and put it together, but that is basically how I'm doing a webinar these days and really enjoying the experience. And so are my audience. So I hope that's helped. If it's given you questions, please put them in the comments below and I will come back and help you. And I've put links to Ecamm and Kajabi and to my Ecamm Live Academy all in the description below. So go and check that out and I hope it's really useful to you. If you've enjoyed it, as ever, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I've got stacks more of these videos coming. Thanks ever so much.